Hi, my name is Hassan Yusuf Ali and I'm the first Sri Lankan in history to run a marathon on all of the seven continents. Um, I'm also an Ironman, uh, given that I finished the world's hardest sporting event, uh, the full Ironman, which is a, a 3.86 kilometer swim, 180 kilometer bike ride and a for, full 42.2 kilometer marathon run done in a 17 hour time limit uh, with individual time cutoffs for the swim, the bike and the run. Um, I'm also uh, recently uh, been appointed the head fitness trainer at the new gym at the One Golf Ace. Um, it's been a long, long time uh, since I've started training. I was very athletic even as a, as a child. Um, I was uh, I always loved sport. I always loved. Um, I actually my first love my first sport was tennis. I started that at 11 years old, and I still um, I remember I remember my first tennis lesson. I told my grandmother uh, I, I didn't want to go. I don't want to go, and uh, she literally forced me to come along. I wore like like not I wore uh, I didn't wear tennis shoes. I had no racket, the coach like went and got me a racket just to play and I loved it, I fell in love with it after that first lesson and it's been after that that I've, I've evolved into doing other things like I did athletics for school, swimming, tennis um, uh, as well and then uh, I captain tennis, for tennis uh, school for tennis, I played uh, uh, football and, um, and badminton as well at university, at, at the uni then I went to the university, I studied at the British school and, uh, and uh, graduated from there and went to university at the University of Melbourne uh, and did, uh, there was a tennis captain there in my final year and played tennis throughout my three years at university. Um, and then I actually started marathons in my final year. So it's been pretty much, I've been training my whole life. Uh, I've, been, I've been involved in sport like from a very, very young age. So, yeah. so at the moment I'm mainly training for marathons, which is running. Um, I've just recently finished my uh, final, the, the, my most recent marathon in Antarctica in December last year. Uh, and I've, this year I've got the New York Marathon and the Chicago Marathon in October and November respectively. Um, so I'm mainly doing running but I do some weight training as well which helps with my running which keeps my muscles and joints uh, uh, really, really toned and primed for that. Uh, so on Monday I do an easy run, uh, on Tuesday and Thursday I do a strength session. Uh, sometimes I mix it up with, with, uh, with circuit training, um, with, um, with, uh, uh, with uh, high intensity interval training as well. Um, and we, on Wednesday and Friday I do a high intensity interval training run workout. So I do like the uh, HIIT workout or a tempo run or a fart leg. Uh, different different types of running, speed speed running workouts essentially. And then on Saturday I do like, um, either I do an extra strength training session or I do cross training which is basically uh, something other than uh, running or, 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 or fitness or like in gym work. I do swimming, cycling, running, uh, swimming, cycling, um, tennis uh, or uh, get a massage or something completely different. And on Sunday I do a really massive long run which is basically taking all of the things I've done in the week and then doing a, like a 20 kilometer plus run on Sunday. So actually the reason I did uh, the uh, seven continents, I did it for actually four reasons. Uh, number one was I wanted to bring uh, glory and fame to my country Sri Lanka. Um, very proud to be a citizen here and be born here and uh, I wanted to do that first and foremost. Uh, secondly, I wanted to pursue a career in health and fitness uh, and I felt as if doing this would be a good way to establish myself in the fitness industry uh, and raise awareness and, and inspire other people to do to do to follow their dreams and go after fitness and actually um, doing this has, has given me has opened my mind up to so many more options now I feel like I can apply this mindset of discipline of determination of uh, persistence of going after your goals in any aspect of life in financial in, in relationships in business uh, in my career and uh, in a variety of fields um, so I feel very thankful for fitness for that. Uh, the third reason is I wanted to raise money for the victims of the Boston Marathon bombing. Um, I'm also doing uh, fundraising for victims of the Easter bombings as well, um, on, uh, as well. And um, um, and uh, I am also. And the fourth reason I did it was I just thought it was a very interesting way to travel and see the world. Uh, I mean, I love adventure and, and and sports as well, and this is a good way to combine both. Yeah.
So I love inspiring other people and training other people because it gives me satisfaction to know that I'm the one who's helping somebody else achieve their goal or the physique. And and the most um, interesting uh, things about about physical transformation is that um, not only does it give you, uh, not only does it does it make you look better and feel better and and feel like you can achieve something, but it's a mental transformation that comes after it. It's like okay, I've achieved this um, this thing. What else can I achieve? And, and, and I think that's what I love about, about training other people and, and about fitness in general as well. So. Uh, I mean, I, uh, I'm pretty selective when it comes to my gyms. Uh, so um, I obviously want like, a, a, good, a good cardio program uh, and cardio machines because that means I'm doing a lot of my, my, my work and that. I also look for gyms that um, have right, right facilities that give me a good feeling when I walk in and and when I when I'm when I'm when I want to uh, do my workout, I'm happy to be there, and, I, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And um, another great thing about my gym is that it's got a wide variety of classes. Uh, we've got spin classes, um, TRX, uh, uh, high intensity interval training, um, uh, uh, bar as well, and the variety and yoga uh, and the variety of classes really help because uh, for a marathoner like me, uh, on my on my Saturday on my cross training day, I love doing things like this. And I think it'll be useful for the community in Sri Lanka here as well. My message is uh, honestly just take the first step and go after your goals and go after your vision because when it, whether it comes to working out, life or, or, or any, anything else, you have to just uh, put yourself forward first and see and, um, and, and fail forward rather than fail backward because yes you will have obstacles along the way, yes you may not, might be, not, not, might, uh, you might not be able to eat perfectly all the time or you might, be, you might miss a workout but that's okay you can just get back on your horse and keep going again and again and um, until you get it right and, uh, um, and you learn from your mistakes you grow and evolve and have a growth mindset really uh, when it comes to fitness because I think fitness is more about the mind than the body because if you get the mind right um, the, everything, else will, everything else will work out. The leg raise works out your lower abdominals Hi guys, this is my gym. Uh, I'm driving for a workout. Let's go. So before I start any workout, I always do a warm up, which is really good for getting the blood flowing through your muscles and making sure you don't get any injuries as well. So yeah, here you go, this is my warm up. So what I do is I like to put my incline on 0.5 for my workout because that doesn't affect my knees. And I put my speed at about five and I go for like three minutes, maybe about four minutes. Yeah, that's about it. And then I just, um, sometimes I increase and decrease the speed as well if I want to get, if I'm feeling a bit tight that day. So guys, this kind of workout is really good because it helps you warm up your body and um, helps get the blood flowing through your muscles and prevents injuries, etc. My heart rate is already pumping quite, quite, a lot, quite a much. Uh, as you can see, I'm running out of breath a bit, but yeah, I, mean, I always start my workout with this. Just finished my warm up and I'm going to do my stretching. I generally do a bit of static and dynamic stretching prior to starting as well, so it's my routine. So first I start, with a calf press, I just train out the calf muscle. Same here, and the calf muscle. This thing, basically on both legs, I do them. Yeah, you can already feel the blood going in that part of my body. I do a quad quad stretch uh, for both legs, about five to ten seconds for each one. I 
also do some dynamic stretching as well. Uh, so I'll do like arms and I'll do like a few star jumps as well. And then a few running players. And then some rolling. And that's basically now we're ready to start the workout. All right, so now that my blood is flowing and pumped up, I'm gonna start with my first exercise. Um, so I do it, um, today I'm doing a circuit workout, which is what I do on a Tuesday or a Thursday. So the first exercise is a burpee with shoulder press. Um, and I do it in the circuit class, so I do three exercises, 20 seconds each, uh, one, uh, and one minute in total, and then I take a 30 second rest, and I repeat the circuit about five times, and then I change the circuit. So I'll just show you this one. So burpee with shoulder press. Very really tough exercise, but it works your full body, uh, your legs, your, your abs, your shoulders, your chest because of the push up. And it's a really good exercise for building your entire body. Um, the way you can progress on this is progress by repetitions, or you can increase the weight that you're lifting. That's about 20 seconds. And we switch to the next one. So I've increased my weight to 10 kg dumbbells. Um, so you can again increase it with, uh, with weight or repetitions. I'm choosing this time to do with weight, so let's go. So my next exercise is pull-ups, uh, which is the second exercise in my first circuit. So let's do it. Mm. Pull-ups work your, your back, specifically your lats. They're a great compound body exercise. And you can vary it by varying the grip. You can vary it by varying the grip. You can go wide. Uh, and, and, and close, which is a, which is a chin up as well. Um, you can vary it uh, and progress overload on it by adding weight uh, in between your legs or on a weight belt. It's a fantastic upper body exercise as well. So, so I'll show you the chin up variation now. So I'm, it's a closer grip. It works more on the bicep as well as the lat. It's all controlled, good form. So my final exercise in the circuit and my third exercise is 20 seconds of planks. And I'm going to show you some variations of how to do planks as well. So you can mix it up for your next sets in the circuit. Alright, let's do it. 20 seconds of planks. So with planks, remember, you should keep your entire body tight and, and very straight. It, you shouldn't be, there shouldn't be a bend like this. Like this, you should just be upright and straight. And focus. This works your abs, your core and your, and your lower back as well. Your back. Oh, I'm feeling tight now. Especially after those burpees. Shoulder press and the pull-up. All right, that's it for round one. We have five more rounds. Some variations of the planks could be uh, the side plank, which is for your uh, this part, which is for your obliques, the V taper. So you can do it like this. You can make it even harder by uh, going like this. And you can lift and let go. And then you can do it for the other side as well. And for your normal planks, you can do it in a way where you can lift your leg up and do it as well. Yep. There's some ways to add some variations and some excitement to your workout. 
So this next circuit is a inclined bench press, lunges and Russian twists. This is really good for your obliques, your V-taper. Just completed my circuit, so what muscles? That second one works is the upper chest for the inclined bench press, uh, which is the upper portion of the pectoral muscle, the pectoralis minor. And then the lunges work your leg muscles, uh, primarily your glutes and your, and your quads as well. And the um, oblique twists work your obliques, which is the muscles that give you the kind of V-tapered look uh, on, your, on your abs. Now I'm gonna do my second set of my second circuit. Let's go. These ones this time. So this time what I'm doing is I'm decreasing the rate, but I'm increasing the reps. And for a marathoner, it's a really good thing because it helps increase your endurance a bit. Let's go for lunges. All right, and let's go for twists. Uh, I'm doing uh, now a medicine ball crunch, which is uh, just a finisher for my workout. Good ab workout, and the good thing about doing it on the medicine ball rather than on the floor is that it protects your lower back, um, and I think that's really important. So just simple crunch. You're working your upper four abs. <laughs> for a runner, the core is extremely important because you have to keep your body upright, especially when you're running on undulating trails in different um, uphill and downhills as well. You can go to the side as well. This is my final move. Uh, which is my finisher work, my finisher exercise for my workout, which is the leg raise. The leg raise works out your lower abdominals, and I'll do some variations of it that show where you can twist and turn and work out your obliques as well, which I've highlighted in my previous sessions that they're an important muscle to work on. Staying safely, and then you can do two variations in this position. One is a knee tuck, and always remember to bring your knees up to your chest. And then the other one is the classic leg raise. This is a little more difficult, uh, but equally as effective, if not more. <laughs> but a, co a slow and controlled movement. And you can also do side to side variations as well. Are on fire. All right, guys, I'm done for my uh, done for the day. I've done my workout. I've given you a little glimpse of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, of course, it takes a lot more uh, than this. It takes consistency, dedication, discipline, perseverance, persistence, and combining them all together to to really make like fitness a lifestyle. And then the mindset that comes with that, those character traits that I spoke about, can, you, that you can apply in all the other areas of your life, like business, career, financial relationships, all of this other areas um, and go and achieve your goals. That's what I believe in, that's the mindset that I have. Uh, but now it's time for me to stop talking and go and have my post-workout meal. So hi guys, this is what I usually do for a post-workout meal. Hi guys, this is what I usually do for a post-workout meal. 
Uh, I have an eating routine that I follow. I eat five small meals a day. I uh, and I have five rules for these. Uh, for, I have an eating routine that I do, and I have five rules um, uh, for this eating routine. So I eat five small meals a day, as I mentioned earlier. Each meal is eaten in, every, in a gap of every two to three hours. Each meal has a portion of uh, lean protein and complex carbohydrates. Um, I only use low salt, sugar, and fat seasonings. So, uh, for example, like tandoori, uh, no, not things like mayo and etc. And the fifth rule, which makes this all magical, is that I follow an 80-20 rule. So out of the 35 meals that I'm having in a week, 28 of them will be in this format and structure, which is one of the ones I'm showing you today. And seven will be whatever when I can eat outside with my friends and my family, etc. So guys, this is um, my post-workout protein shake. Um, generally, it's a protein shake with banana smoothie. And uh, it's got about 200 calories in it and uh, it's what I consume immediately between uh, 20 to 45 minutes straight after a workout, so cheers. So the reason why I take this particular uh, 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 shake is because um, after a workout, given that I train for marathons and I've just done a really d difficult gym session, um, protein helps you repair muscles and the bananas are a form of simple carbohydrates. Uh, these are the carbon carbohydrates that, that, uh, that are easily absorbed into your bloodstream and this is what you need to replenish your glycogen stores after a really hard, hard workout. So this is what I consume uh, immediately, pretty much after my workout. And um, if you're curious, the, the, the protein that I use is a, is a, is a whey protein. Um, I use uh, generally 100% isolate because it's um, again zero carbs, zero, uh, zero fat, zero sugar and um, it's just 100% pure protein. Um, and it's just about 100 calories, so it's fine. That mixed with the banana in the shake makes it about 200 calories. This is my post-workout, post-meal. Uh, and what I do for this is that I eat um, a portion of complex carbohydrates and lean proteins. Uh, I've, chips have come on the side of this, but I'm not gonna eat this, so I'm just gonna put it on the side, but basically, it's a brown bread sandwich with tandoori chicken um, and it's grilled to perfection really. So I'm just gonna have a, have a bite of it right now. So. so I'm having a wholemeal bread and, uh, and, uh, and tandoori chicken sandwich. And the, the reason I eat this is again, it's got a good lean protein, good complex carbohydrates, and lots of fresh veggies and, and uh, et cetera. So it's about, I would say, together it would be about um, 400 calories altogether. And uh, it's perfectly what I need after a workout and a uh, good way to relax and enjoy, enjoy uh, the feeling of satisfaction of my life. Um, so in this particular sandwich, they've got a layer of chicken, uh, chicken breasts, uh, two, uh, wrapped in two slices of bread and in the middle there's also uh, some veggies and some um, a really nice sauce but I'm not exactly sure what it is and just for kicks I had some cheese Okay guys I'm pretty stuffed that was a really really nice post workout meal um, one that I would have on the regular so now you guys have a glimpse of my nutrition um, and hopefully you can start leading your own a healthy lifestyle yourself. Thank you. Hi guys, so I hope you enjoyed that episode of Hi TV and My Fit Life. Uh, tune in for more exclusive uh, fitness and health content if you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you want to follow my journey, follow me on Instagram at Hassan Yusuf Ali Official. On Facebook at Hassan Yusuf Ali, I have uh, an official page uh, on that. And um, a website as well, hassanyusufali.com. Uh, if you are looking for health and fitness tips and inspiration or workout plans or, or nutrition programs, I offer them as well. Uh, thank you very much and hope to hear from you in the future.